Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on here real quick and do a little bit of an update and a tour of the trailer. I've been excited about making this video because when I was going through my trailer build, I was watching any and every video I could on YouTube um, of people's trailers, kind of getting ideas for my own trailer. So hopefully this helps you guys out and also... Um, I'm honestly looking for advice as well as how to uh, even optimize this trailer even more as far as storage and things to do different and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, as far as the hose reels, um, you can go back to my previous videos. Um, I've done a video of the trailer itself before we put the stuff on it. Um, and then I did another video on the plumbing, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to kind of go on, uh, about what each thing is and where it's at and why I put it there. So this hose reel is for my water fed pole. Um, one thing I would do differently with this trailer is you can see, so I used Herculiner and it's very rough. If I did it all over again, I would do a uh, smoother bed liner because um, I have had my bypass hose to my eight gallon a minute. It was zip tied up to uh, that little angle iron and up to my tank and the vibration busted a hole in it. So I got um, the shop is a mess right now, so I need to get it all organized. Look at all that. Jeez Louise. So I got this that I still got to put on. It's just uh, rubber covers to go over um, all these little areas. But so the water fed pole, I did go ahead and um, mount this. So basically put that through it like that when you go to pull it out. And then it's got rollers so that way it's not rubbing on that. Um, course the hose reels in here so originally I was going to mount my pump in here um, but I decided instead to just use this for the stuff that I use on a daily basis so I got my my main wand my remote for the flow pro my tape for property protection my gloves that I wear these are awesome they got little grips on them, so I love wearing these. And then my uh, toolbox, just with miscellaneous. So in my toolbox up here, just got all the odds and ends stuff. This, get one of these for uh, commercial spigots. And then um, make sure you have the right uh, socket set. So all of the bolts on here is in metric and I got a kit like this for Christmas um, that was in uh, SAE. So I had to go back to Lowe's and get me the right set. So just a couple of extra stuff. I also have a list in my phone notes of every single nut and bolt, every Allen wrench, um, surface cleaner, Every single nut and bolt on here, what millimeter it is, I have sockets um, for yeah, every single nut and bolt on here. Alrighty, um, like I said, I've discussed the plumbing in the other video, so I won't really go over that. This I still have to mount. Um, I went I got, went to Lowe's and got PVC pipe um, that I'm going to mount up here. And then I'll have the brushes that I can just stick in there. I have that one um, for either the back side or this side for my uh, window cleaning poles. Um, eight gallon a minute, four gallon a minute. Uh, this is where I'm going to mount. Um, I did see, uh, so that's what the milk crate is for. I'm going to cut a uh, U-shape out of it and then mount the uh, milk crate right here and then the, uh, um, goodness, can't think right now, 
um, the leaf blower will sit right down in there and then I'll have a, a, a strap that goes across it to, uh, to hold it all in. Got uh, cones, extra gas on this side. So I have a 24 foot ladder on here that I will keep at all times. My 32 foot ladder, which I still have to mount on the wall. Um, I'm just gonna keep on the wall in case I need it. Uh, last year, I probably used my 32. Uh, I could probably count on one hand how many times I used it. So um, I'm just gonna keep the 24 footer on. And then um, if I'm doing gutter cleaning or something where I know I'm gonna need it, then I'll throw it on there. On this side, got some yard signs telescoping ladder that thing is awesome and then i got a small four foot ladder um and here i have a um, bunch of tool cases so in here i have all of my extra fittings um Teflon tape, surface cleaner tips, different chemical injectors, um, have backups to my backups, several 2.1, several 1.8. Um, tips for um, one quarter and three eighths, both male and female of the males and both female and male threads of the females. Um, extra J rods, dental picks for the uh, O-rings. And then in this one, I just have random miscellaneous stuff as well. Extra fuel filters, more chemical injectors, um, fuses. First aid kit. Um, and here I have all of my uh, uh, flyers, business cards, um, window cleaning flyers door hangers ah. door hangers with my business card on it and then a QR code for um, um, to request a free quote more fuel filters um, miscellaneous parts in here this is kind of just uh, Again, miscellaneous items, extra oil for the um, um, weed eater, uh, camera mounts, more uh, Titan straps for my 32 foot ladder, extra ball valves. I got like three of these. Um, the other, the other two are in the um, the toolbox over there. Um, this so when i'm doing lots of um concrete i'll actually stick the tennis ball in there um or right here you can stick the tennis ball if you're just doing uh, a lot of rinsing it's kind of hard to do with one hand but you get the gist of it so hold that in there and then you basically just just got to move this around kind of saves your hands from pulling on it too much Gloves for when it's cold. Uh, these bags I use for um, covering speaker boxes or cameras, stuff like that. I just use this. It's cheap and easy. Um, extra remote for the Flow Pro, my TDS meter, and this is just all my stuff for my water fed pole system, just random parts, instructions. Extra pump, my backup pump uh, for when that one goes down, because they will go down. My uh, my two poles for window cleaning and the, and the water fed pole, like I said. So these will go in that PVC pipe, which will get mounted on this side. Um, gutter cleaning tool, extra wands. More, um, here's another tripod. Um, this is just a backup to my soft wash hose. Um, and this, so hopefully this works. Last year I had a, uh, a 10 foot, uh, hard non-suction, 
um, hose for my sludge sucker, but then I saw someone posted um, that they use this. So this is 25 feet of collapsible hose um, that basically stick on the end of there and then put the, uh, put the clamp on and then, yeah. So sludge sucker, awesome, awesome tool. Extra tape. And that's basically it for this stuff. Um, so the back of my gate, here, let me just open it up real quick. So I got a little latch right there. This gate swings open. Um, so I got, I use a uh, Zep degreaser, F-Flow, F9 Bark, and then LA's Totally Awesome will go here. I got these uh, strapped down, so these ain't gonna go anywhere. Um, and then these will go to each one of those. So one for LA's, one for Bark, one for Eflo, and one for Degreaser. And then this one, I just put um, straight SH in this one um, for when I go do a test spot. Um, if I wanna make sure that, um, or I'll dilute it down to like 2%, 3%, whatever. Um, but this is basically my, uh, my touch up slash, uh, test spot section. If I, uh, if I'm worried that, you know, hopefully if I get like blue siding, that's like painted and I want to make sure that the, uh, SH ain't going to affect the pigment. I'll, uh, I'll just take this up there real quick and just do a quick test spot. So I do got to get a, uh, somehow to, uh, cinch these down. So got to figure that out. Oh, surface cleaner right here. I am. I just bought a mount. So the surface cleaner eventually will get mounted right there horizontally. Uh, the mounts are going to be uh, mounted to the bottom of that rack and they'll hang down. And then the surface cleaner will just get mounted up there. And that will... Uh, free up this one for my uh for my 19 inch i'll put my 19 inch surface cleaner here and that will be for my four gallon a minute backup um machine tucker water fed pole right there um and here i just have random miscellaneous parts i have a extra whip lines two foot three foot four foot and eight foot um and then my Water-fed pull brushes. I have a boar's hair brush, a hybrid, and a nylon. And then in here, just extra chemical storage. Um, so I got sodium percarbonate, more sodium percarbonate, diamond magic, um, auxilic acid. This is elephant snot for graffiti removal pump up sprayer, masks. Um, this, I use this for um, for roof cleaning. If the uh, downspout doesn't go into rocks or anything like that, if it goes into plants, then um, I'll take this and stretch out about 10 feet um, and bag it. So this is what I use to, to bag the, uh, the downspouts when I'm doing roof cleaning. And then I got this uh, black plastic tarps for, for any, anything I need uh, tarps for. And then extra bucket, I gotta get a, uh, um, uh, screw in a, um, uh, a little loop down there so that way I can uh, um, put a strap from there to, to hold this down. So, get this shut. Bam, and that ain't going nowhere. So yeah, this is my setup. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I can't think of, uh, of anything else, but um, I just got some extra space down there that I gotta figure out what I wanna do with, kind of a, a spot right here, you know, that I can put something there. So um, as of right now, it's just kind of figuring out what's working, what's not working, trial and error, basically. But so far, uh, not a whole lot of issues with this trailer. Um, I've been pretty happy with it so far. 
And uh, yeah, as of right now, the only complaint that I have is um, I wish I would have, uh, I wish I would have uh, realized this. Uh, I mean, this is like hard sandpaper. So, you know, when you're dealing with these expensive hose, um, you know, so luckily the, uh, the pressure washing hose doesn't really rub, but eventually I got to get those, uh, those rubber covers to go on it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, but, um, you know, I just wanted to get on here real quick. Like I said, from the very beginning, um, these videos really helped me out when I was going, uh, through my trailer build and, um, you know, just kind of seeing what, what other people are doing and how they're doing it and what they keep on their trailer. Um, just really helped me out. So let me know what you guys think.